war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid for myself son because if my time in the army taught me one thing it's that war war never changes looking in on next week's forecast we have a high of 52 on Monday it also appear our troops stationed overseas are experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold, unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the 5th Infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. All the easier for our mechanized Hellcats to drive any screeching Comstees. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. people outside the gate everything we can now keep moving step on the platform in the center sir we need to send you down to the vault step on the platform almost there we're gonna be okay I love you both of you we love you too
advanced facility is gone. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Everything we have. Sir? My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you Just think? checking everyone off the list as they come in. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the fall. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise.
surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. did all this? <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah, just, just a few nuclear bombs. Alright. What the hell is that? Is that... Codsworth? Codsworth, is that you? Codsworth. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's it's really you. What happened? Codsworth. What happened to the world? Uh, well, sir. Well, besides our Geronimo still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Back. Where is your better half, by the by? The... Sh she's in a better place. She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire... To, no, Codsworth. I... you've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. No, Codsworth. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? <sighs> Nothing makes any sense. It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. The Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> Two hundred and ten years? Centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, are you okay? Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I. I. Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. Two I whole spent centuries. Ten what the years fuck? Trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. Codsworth, it's okay. Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? 
Codsworth, stay with me, buddy. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. Were. I did find this hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you. Thank you, Cotton. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Sure. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. <sighs> God damn. Alright, Cosworth, buddy, where did you get to? What did you... A few flies? What do you mean fl- seen something more disgusting in my life. That's for sure. I should at least go back to the house and see. What the hell is this? It's some sort of workshop set up in the house from across the street. Interesting. Still here. Nice. Codsworth may need this. I'll see if I can lug it around. Oh, get it on my way out. here. A single thing. Alright, well, let's see if I can get this fuel uh, out to Codsworth and see if he can use it. If not, well then, well at least, I can put it over here. I mean, he seems to be running fine, but... looked up to check the road and see if any cars were coming. Oh, 
Well, I guess my next stop is Concord. Let's see if they left anything useful here first. Sean. I'll find you. 